boat in Reddington protruding from the beach. Built of planks and pilings, into the sea they reach, into the sea they reach. Well, of course, I enjoy being around the people. They're, they're a happy bunch of people, you know. Uh, always up for it when they're out here fishing, you know. How do you like pier fishing as opposed to other types of fishing? Well, one thing about it, you don't have to worry about being knocked off anything. You just got your spot and that's it. You stay where you are and nobody pushes you out of there. We used to use a safety pin on a piece of wood. So you've been a pier fisher person for a long time. Yeah. So you too are an advocate of pier fishing. Definitely. I, I have a cousin that used to have a 22-foot boat. I'd go out with him. I wouldn't get anything but pin fish and, and uh, sea bass. Off of this pier, I have taken numerous uh, mackerel. I got 19 day before yesterday, three yesterday. They're not biting today. What accoutrements do you need? <laughs> luck. Luck? <laughs> That's the only thing I can say, I'm luck. A few people from lots of places, it's, it's a place where the people can go. Cast a line into the water, let the day slip by slow, let the day slip by slow. Old folks' faces turn toward the sea, thoughts of days gone by. But this day's as good as any, and this night there'll be a fish fry, this night there'll be a fish fry. Little boy on daddy's shoulder, his first time on a pier. It's a day he'll never forget, cause he caught his first fish here, caught his first fish here. Looks like you have some nice fillets from this one. Very good, very good. And, and you, sir, how are you enjoying your day at the pier? Oh, don't ask. <laughs> so if you're ever down at Reddington Beach, the piers you have to see, they're part of what makes living great here in eight country, here in eight country.